Thanksgiving Day may have come and gone, but you know what's not yet gone? My leftovers. I'm sure you have some too. They can be great, but sometimes you get bored of eating the same thing over and over again. So today I'm gonna show you some creative recipes to reinvent your Thanksgiving leftovers. Let me show you what we're gonna make. The first dish that I'm gonna make is a Thanksgiving casserole with leftovers. Now, I'm going to use an eight by eight baker. You could also use a pie pan. And if yours is not nonstick, make sure you spray. It. But first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some of my leftover stuffing. And I'm just gonna smash that down. And then to that, I'm just gonna add some turkey. I went ahead and heated it in some gravy on the stove. You don't have to do that, but I thought it would give it a little extra flavor. I don't have too much cranberry left, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to this and that'll just make it a little bit tangier and it'll make a really nice sauce. This will also just tame down that cranberry taste a little bit. It won't be quite as tart. Spread that out. And I've already preheated my oven. It is at 375 degrees. And lastly, I have some of my mashed potatoes from yesterday. I warmed these up on the stove and then just so they're not quite so lumpy so that they're a nice consistency. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mayonnaise to this, probably about oh, half a cup. Stir that in. And then to that, I am going to add some shredded cheddar cheese. Just a nice handful. Add this to the top of our casserole. And then we're going to put this in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. So I'll see you when it's done. Took the casserole out of the oven. Look how good it is. I baked it for about 25 minutes and then I broiled it for probably three to four minutes just to get the top a little bit brown. Okay, let's try it. Hot. I'm excited to try my Thanksgiving casserole. It looks interesting and it's still very hot. Mm, it tastes like Thanksgiving on a plate, but I will say the addition of the mayonnaise to this makes a huge difference. It makes it really tangy and not sweet, but kind of zesty, like I really like the addition of the mayonnaise. I think it'd be a little bit more blah. It would taste just like you mash together everything on your Thanksgiving plate if you didn't have the mayonnaise. But yeah, the mayonnaise makes a huge difference. That's really good. Okay, I got a couple more recipes to show you next. 
Okay, so my waffle iron is preheating. I'm gonna take one flour tortilla. And if you watched the first recipe in this video, I made some mashed potatoes and added a little bit of mayonnaise to it and cheese. I have some of that left, so I'm gonna utilize that. You can just use mashed potatoes if you want. That's just fine. You just wanna put a thin layer on your tortilla. And then I just chopped up some turkey and a little bit of gravy. I'm gonna add that. Now this is the turkey in one of my previous videos that I made. I will link that above, but it was a turkey broth that I cooked um, with some French onion soup mix and some cranberry. And it is by far my favorite way to make turkey. It's so flavorful. I'm gonna top this off with some cheese. that on. Then I'm going to spray both sides of my waffle iron just with some non-stick spray. And I'm going to add this. Close it. Done. I know this sounds like a really odd combination, but I'm excited to try it. So I put just a little bit of, of gravy on it, and I put a little bit of extra potato on the side. Oh, that's so good. It's just like comfort food. Like, I think a lot of it is that um, it's the gravy that I made. It just adds a really nice tanginess to this. Yeah, I'm gonna have some more. You should try this, it's good. Apparently I didn't film making my pasta, but you can make any pasta you want, just boil it, and you need about three to four cups total. So I got my pasta in a bowl. To that, I'm gonna add some of my leftover turkey. The recipe calls for about two cups. This is probably just shy of two cups. Okay, and then I am going to add one can of cream of celery soup. And one can cream of chicken. And then I have one cup of milk. I just used almond milk because that's what we prefer. And to that, I need to add two cups of mixed veggies. I'm also going to add some black pepper to this. I have my 9 by 13 baker, so we're just going to go ahead and add the mixture in. And then here I have a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I used regular breadcrumbs. You can use panko, whatever you have on hand. I also have half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Add that in and a quarter cup or half a stick of melted butter. So this is going to be our topping. Mix that together. over the top. And now I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. I broiled this for a few minutes so that the top was nice and golden brown. And you can see it bubbling over here. So it looks delicious. I'm gonna dive in, plate it up and show you what it looks like. The moment of truth, my casserole is done, and I'm going to try it. If I can get it on my fork, then I'll try it. 
Mm. Yeah, so of all the leftover dishes I made, this one's definitely my favorite. It's very rich and creamy, and it's just like comfort food on a plate. I will say though, the quesadilla is a very close second, but this is delicious, and I always want to try tuna noodle casserole, but I don't like tuna. So this is like tuna noodle casserole, but better. So hopefully you'll give it a try. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed these recipes and I'll be back soon with some more comfort foods that you can make for dinner, maybe in the crock pot. See you soon.